Dear Lord, please give us safe travels up and down the river. Allow us to think with an open mind, free and calm. Allow us it, to make it, the adjustments it. we need to make and allow us to capitalize on the opportunities you grant us. And please look over our family while we were gone. Keep them safe. Um, thank you. I love you. Amen. Bassmaster! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, tones. I can't talk about them. Yeah! <sighs> Come on. Biggins in the mill. Come on. Day ain't over. Let's go! This ain't over. This ain't, we're just getting started, EK. We're just getting started. Come on. Come on. I do think that was game face right there. I don't know. Come here, come here, come here. Come it's come Seth Fighter, the 2021 yes. Bassmaster yes. Elite yes. Series Angler of the Year 2021 is forever fighter. Without a doubt, my most used Tatula Elite Rod this season is a seven foot. Brent Ayler's Signature Series Medium Heavy. I think it's the most versatile rod in our lineup. It's my favorite rod. Um, I do all my swim jigging, pitching, flipping with it, and that's that's how I like to fish. I, I love, you know, pitching around cover, heavy cover, and this rod's awesome. I, I fish braid to a leader, so it's a little lighter than most flipping sticks, but in my eyes, it's perfect for anything three quarters of an ounce or less. I think the deal with the Elite Rods that's helped me so much this year is they're all um, pro designed and we have something for every application. Um, regardless of what you're doing from the heaviest power fishing to the lightest finesse fishing, there's a Tatula Elite that'll get the job done and having all those tools available is what helped me get her done this year. I do not believe the word llama should replace the goat. Um, the goat's overused, there's too many of them, and there's only one llama. Um, my advice would be to fish as much as you can. I know everyone says that. And then the other thing is to do it on your own. Um, it seems like most of the kids nowadays are just looking for spots and hands out, handouts and whatnot. And I think in the long term, it'll probably take you longer to have success at tournament fishing. But if you find your own fish and do it your way, at the end of the, at the end of it all, you'll be a lot more successful because eventually you're going to go to a lake where nobody's going to give you any waypoints and you got no spots to go. So finding your own fish is really important. Absolutely, the, the strategy has changed the last two tournaments. Normally, when I go up north, I'm pretty much trying to win each event we have up north. Um, and then these last two this year, I, I played it safer than I would have knowing, you know, the points I needed to get the job done. Um, on paper, I basically needed two top 30s to win. So um, I definitely stayed closer to avoid, you know, breaking down or any mishaps and um, spent more time fishing versus making long runs trying to win the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, the SV spools and the bait casters is, I mean, it's the deal when you're throwing light baits, um, especially into the wind or even average size baits into the wind and um, especially skipping. I mean, there's nothing that skips like an SV spool. It, it's a lighter weight spool. It stops and starts quicker. If you get too heavy of a spool, um, you know, if your bait hits something and stops, your spool is going to keep rolling where the SV stops and goes um like nothing uh this is hands down the number one achievement i have um as far as fishing career goes um i've never won anything like this i've won a couple of smaller tournaments and never a regular season elite or a classic or anything like that so this is pretty much all i got right now but either way it's gonna be pretty hard to beat that uh, the most important quality i would say um, level headedness. Um, you're gonna go through tournament fishing is all ups and downs, roller coaster of emotions. Things go bad, things go great. Um, you know, 
not getting too high or too low when stuff goes bad trying to be as level as you can is probably the biggest key to tournament fishing uh angler of the year means to me uh, i mean that's a lifelong achievement right there that's something that's will always be attached to my name and something they can never take away from you it's it's i mean even when this is all done even if i win a bunch of tournaments that's still going to be one of the biggest accomplishments. I mean, hopefully we can get another one, but if not, we got one. Uh, the next achievement goal for me, it's one I was before this, it's to win a Bassmaster Classic. I think I think that's the coolest thing you can do in the sport, be the, you know, the World Series champion. And um, I think that's the biggest title in bass fish. I know a lot of guys say this is, and, I'm happy to have it and we worked really hard to get it, but uh, either another Angler of the Year or a Classic Trophy, is, uh, those are my next goals. An incredible season, throw a llama up high, cause the llama is your Angler of the Year.